Hi there. So recently my uh, laptop hard drive crapped out on me and uh, I recently just got a new one right there and I'm going to show you guys how to uh, install it in the Acer Aspire laptop. So um, pretty much uh, you could refer to my RAM upgrade video to see how to open it because I don't want to waste time doing it again. But when you're uh, at this point you have the cover off and make sure you have your little schematic with your screws on it so you don't lose track of screws. What you want to do is um, we're going to remove this cable so we can have actual access to the hard drive. So the way you do that is uh, if you come over here to this little tab area where the ribbon cable is inserted, the, there's like a black cover kind of thing. So you're going to grab both sides and you're going to kind of just lift the black tab up and that just comes off like that. And uh, find a way to secure it away from your uh, working area. And uh, after that um, you can see that the hard drive is secured in with four screws here uh, on each corner of this uh, metal retainer kind of bracket thing and uh, that's what we're going to unscrew next we're going to unscrew this little uh, hard drive holder if you will so yeah I'm, I'm going to do that and I'll get right back to you guys alright so uh, I, f I took off the ribbing completely by doing the same thing on this side just lifting the black tab up and removing the ribbon and uh, I removed one of the brackets. This other one is um, has like this little stopper over here. So I'm gonna just slowly wiggle out the hard drive here. Slowly. It's a little difficult with one hand, but it should wiggle out. There we go. I'll just push it out then. So yeah, it just slides right out, just like that. And this is our old hard drive. And uh, you could take the bracket off at this point. Like so. And there it is. So yeah, this is the Toshiba hard drive that crapped out on me. Wonderful. I'm going to stay away from this brand from now on. And to replace that, I do have this Western Digital uh, Caviar Blue hard drive. I was going to go with Caviar Black, but I figured it's not really a high-performance laptop to have to get anything fancy. It's 5,400 RPMs compared to the Caviar Black, which is 7,200 RPMs. And I believe I got the 320 gigabyte model. Yes, I did get the 320 gigabyte model. Um, like I said, it's just a basic use computer. Nothing fancy. I don't need too much memory. So um, what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to unpackage it, of course. And then you're just going to slide it back onto here. Uh, the ports are pretty self-explanatory. There's only one way it's going to fit in. So uh, let me get out of the packaging and I'll show you exactly how to do it. Alright, so here it is out of the packaging. Uh, you're going to put this upside down. And you're going to see the you're going to see the contact points right there. And this is how it's going to go in. It's really easy and simple. You're just going to slide it in just like we slid out the old hard drive. Let me show you how to do it. I hope I can do it with one hand. Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Um, hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Just place it, line it up. And we should be able to slide it in. Be careful while you do this. You don't want to damage anything. There it goes. That slid in perfectly, actually. And um, I forgot to put in the brackets, so uh, you're like, I'm just going to put the brackets on now and uh, screw the brackets back in place and continue on from there. Alright, so we have the hard drive back in place and now we're going to put the ribbon cable back in. To do that, <clears throat> really simple, you put MB is motherboard, so put the MB part back on the motherboard like so. Just slide it in with the black tab still up as much as you can. There it goes. As much as you can in there. And then you push down on the black tabs. Nice and tight. And there it is. It's nice and secure in there. Same with the, this side. We're going to slide this in with the black tab still up. I, I don't know if you can see it's still pretty loose. Make sure it really gets in there. Okay, well, it seems like it's in there. Now just push down on the black tabs. 
There it is. Nice and tight. Well, the ribbon is kind of ribbony. But um, there you go. That's pretty much it. And uh, reverse process to get all the, <clears throat> all the cover back on here. Uh, make sure that this doesn't get dislodged because remember the hard uh, CD drive is uh, loose for whatever reason. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I uh, hope this was helpful and uh, good luck with your laptop journeys.